All right, there we go. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Team here. And um, yeah, I just want to play some Pathway. First of all, thanks to the guys from the GOG.com for hooking me up with a copy of this one. It just came out and it looks very interesting. Uh, it's supposed to be a strategy RPG set in like Indiana Jones-like setting, basically. So uh, yeah, let's just jump in and see what exactly is happening, right? All right. So I have no idea what's going on, I just know that this game is published by uh, Chucklefish, uh, who do publish quite a lot of games that I enjoy. So I have quite high hopes for this one as well. So we got the codex. Whenever you see this notification, click on the button to see more information. Okay, so what is this? That is a lot of information. Okay, so you can select your team members. I guess you unlock the new guys. Okay, cool. Introduction, right, uh, Jeep store, okay, whatever, like, for now it doesn't matter, right, so we just have to select an adventure, oh, there's like different stories, I guess, and different difficulties, cool, that sounds like my kind of game, so you can customize the enemies, I mean, I guess we'll go with zero, you can customize the starting supplies, and you can customize the daytime, which uh, doesn't seem to affect anything, at least for now, okay, whatever. Sure, let's try the first adventure, shall we? Okay, so we got members we can select and we can select two of them for now. Right, so we got, who is this? This is Jackson Sheffield, American Globethrotter. Okay, assault rifle expert, good aim and endurance, bad reflexes and limited upgrade options. Uh huh. Good uh, capable healer, flexible upgrade path, rather fragile, mediocre aim. Okay, so she's a support character. Low mobility, Vic versus Nazis. That's very specific. <laughs> That's a very specific downside here. Um, shotgun expert, very resilient, fewer upgrade options. Grenade expert, strong versus Nazis, limited upgrades. Low stats, fears undead. That's that, like how... Okay, you know what? Let's just go with the default setup, right? So we're gonna get this guy. I'm gonna get a support. Just your typical team composition, right? Okay, so let us see. I guess we can't really change any equipment. Well, we cannot change any equipment or anything like that. So, um, sure, let us continue. And uh, okay, now we can change the equipment, but we don't really have anything to change. So I guess we're done, right? Like this is curious <laughs> i'm quite curious to see how it develops and if there's more than five uh scenarios essentially take a break in the provincial backwater the oh provincial backwater a few miles beyond casablanca this is the last outpost of civilization beyond this point is nothing but merciless desert it's actually voiced this is pretty cool there, somewhere all right let us begin the advent Okay, then that looks like a pretty damn big map. Maybe five scenarios is not that little after all. <laughs> right, check your gear last time, start the engine, your journey begins. Cool, so. Um, okay, I can use WSD to scroll the map and then we can visit the location to. This feels FTL like a lot. Right, um, I guess we could go here. Let's try, I, guess, I mean, it doesn't matter, right? So it's just the question of the path. Come across, uh, okay, in trees searing the heat. So there's literally nothing there. Cool, that was definitely worth it. And we also got fuel. So yeah, this is very FTL-like. I mean, I do love games like FTL. So we got something here, something here. This looks like a camp. This looks like a fight. And this is where we have to go, right? So I guess it makes sense to just go something like this, I guess, to visit this camp or trader or whatever that is. Right. Old Desert Temple. Footprints right red of them. In front of you, the lifeless bodies of several soldiers. Alright. Corpses are strangely contorted. Uh-huh. You look around, discover uh, an ancient trap. Okay, so we found a trap. Natalia climbs onto a stone sarcophagus and cranes her neck. That intonation on the altar, I can't exactly tell. Wait, so do the skills of those guys actually affect the those scenarios as well? Because that is insane. Okay, cool. So we can try to avoid the trap uh, by gambling. 
Uh, and we can improvise. This is the daredevil perk. So I guess gambling is always available, right? So it's like just a dice roll, essentially. Uh, yeah, sure, let's improvise. Checks and ties are open to a lasso, throws around the cast, uh, what, crossbeam uh, that just da da da, and so it swings off, okay. Do we get anything cool? I actually get some nice cutscenes in here, that's pretty neat. Jackson lands the stone at the edge of Altar, for a moment he struggles to keep his balance, then recovers. Okay, got us his spoil, okay, so cool, we, we actually got some stuff. Um, do I get to pick one or do I get to, I guess I get all of them. So we got Battered Clay Idol, sure. We got Shattered Soaked Linen Shred... What? No. I... What? What does it say? <laughs> Can I read the first letter? M Natron Soaked? Is it Natron? Is it a word? Oh, you know what? I'll take it anyway. And we got some petroleum, so we got some fuel. Cool. This is basically Indiana Jones FTL at this point. <laughs> Uh, okay, Remainders of a Desperate Battle, okay. Guess we didn't really find anything there. So, what's this about? Fortified German military camp. Barbed wire, sandbags and machine gun nests. That sounds like a terrible way to go. Uh, see a small fuel depot and a small fleet of vehicles. So we can attack, we can blow up the fuel. Okay. Uh, yeah, the bird will, however, improve your character chances of success. So, so you can just attack straight on. We can blow them up or we can run away. You know what? Let's just blow up the fuel and try to attack anyway. <laughs> let's let's try to do that. Uh, so, hey, machine gun being fired. Moments later, a sound of shots tear through the silence, being followed by a deafening explosion. Your excited shouts and gunfire. A gigantic cloud of the smoke rises in the sky. The fuel dumps out brightly. Seems like it went quite nice. I use the general chaos to make your way to the radio station. Once there, you grab a stock of files and make your escape. Wait, so I don't even have to find them? Secret dossier, Morton Lambert. Lambert is known as a fence with the connections to hostile intelligence agencies. Is it? We just unlocked the new character or something? 100 XP, okay, and we got some loots, so I didn't even have to fight them, so basically get all of that stuff. What is this? This is needle and thread. I guess you can repair something, and this is armor. So I guess you have armor. Um, I'm also guessing, can I equip armor? Can I just be like, oh yeah, I can, cool. And she has seven, can she get this one? Yes, she can, there we go, that's nice. Uh, okay, she has painkillers, he has tarnished stiletto, okay, cool, uh, let's go visit this camp thingy, whatever that is. In the shade of some palm trees you find a small brackish water hole, uh, okay. Uh, rest up, yeah sure, let's rest, I, like what does it give me? I guess it just refills your health or something? Health replenished, armor replenished, revived. Oh, okay, so even if some people die, you can still revive them at the campfires. That's interesting, that's good to know. Right, a German unit of soldiers, uh, right? They have not noticed you. Uh, yeah, let's attack. I mean, I want to see how the combat looks. That is, like, that sort of sounds like the main part of the game, basically, right? Planning phase. Okay, so where are the enemies? Do I know where the enemies are? Doesn't oh there they are. One, two, three. There's a dog. And there's a four. Okay, does it say how many enemies do I have? There's also some information here. Yes, yes, okay. Actions, covers. Yeah, okay, whatever. I figure that out once we go out. Okay, so we got those two guys and those two guys, and I think that's it. I don't really see anyone else. So let us let's go from here, I guess. Okay, so I would love to stay in cover, but still be able to shoot. So I guess I can shoot him, right? He's red. So we're gonna move here. And I'm gonna use my, I guess just ranged attack, right? So this uh, 100%. Burst requires two bravery. So you got this bravery, which is essentially like a specific action point. So I don't like, do they, do they actually restore? Covers, heal, repair, revive, actions, movement, uh, so where's the bravery, types of damage, 
Special actions. Successful attack. Ah, okay, there you go. So one attack is one bravery. Critical hit is two bravery. Okay, so it doesn't make sense to save them for better. So we can just... Uh, oh, okay, that is... I guess I'm just gonna attack him. Well, murdered right away. That that <laughs> that went pretty well. Okay, she's not. she does not really have a very good range. So we're gonna just keep her over there. Okay, wait. Still four? We gotta get rid- Oh, he didn't die. Okay, cool. So I thought he just died from the first shot. Guess he didn't. There's still four enemies. Cool. They're gonna advance on me. That is fine. I'm under full cover. So that seems to be very XCOM-like. So we gotta get rid of that dog. So I got double shots. Uh, sure, let's try. And she is officially terrible. <laughs> All right, low profile. Uh, no, I, mean, I think sh I think we're fine. So we gotta. That won't really help, right? So I guess I'm just gonna shoot the dog. Right. Okay. Cool. The dog is down. Now we got one guy here, one guy here. Man, I don't really have anything else to do, so I'm just gonna s chill. I do have full cover, so it oh shit, I had full cover. How the? Well, he did took all my armor off. Oh no, I'm getting flanked. That is not very good. Oh crap. Okay, that is not very good at all. Right, so let me think. So I can kill that guy, 50%. Uh, I mean, I could take my chances, but... Oh boy, okay. Can I... I cannot really align them in any way, right? So... And I cannot go left for some reason? I guess this is the end of the map, right? Okay, so we need to heal that guy as well, otherwise it's not going to be good. So this guy has 34 health, so I definitely cannot kill him in one shot. But this all of this is full cover, so maybe, maybe it's a good idea. How do I, how do I go about that? So he does, he has a stiletto, which actually does a significant amount of damage. What's the range on this thing? Distance, uh, doesn't actually say so. Oh, there, there you go. Okay, so it's just one square essentially, right? So we gotta go up front. Uh, oh boy, I don't like that. I have 31 HP. I might get murdered here, but you know what? Let's try. So the thing is, I can, um, bleed cause melee damage and additional damage with falling. So I guess we can bleed him, right? So it's gonna be like. Okay, cool. Now, what I would want to do is I want to go here because then this guy won't be able to shoot me. And I want to shoot this guy in the face. There you go. I cannot heal anyone right now, but it's fine. So he's going to go where? There he is. He's going to try to flank me. I still have full cover, so this should be fine. Okay, uh, let me think. So I want to use a med kit to heal this guy. Right, so we're good. Okay, so you are going to go, I guess, over here. That seems like a nice spot, right? And we're just going to range attack him now. What about her? I'm guessing she... Yeah, okay, she doesn't even reach him. So I don't want to be near that barrel over here. <laughs> I guess we can just go up front, right? Like, like this? No, nope. what? Oh, I cannot. Oh, right, because I used that one action already. God damn it. Uh, don't shoot me in the face. Okay, he's he's terrible, so we're good. I'm gonna take this guy and just shoot him in the face. There we go. Done. Cool. Damage dealt, 155, 70% accuracy, that's not bad. Zero evades, zero crits. <laughs> Reload all weapons, yes please. And back to the map. So you have to, like, I, it's, it's a bit weird that it doesn't do it automatically. Because if you forget to reload, you're basically screwed next time, right? So what do we get? We get some money, money, and... Cigarette holder? This seems like more money, basically. Now, here's a question. There's a level up sign here. So what can we do? Medium armor skill, uh, crit chance, okay. So we can pick one of the three skills. Assault rifle mag, uh, assault rifle accuracy, and knife. Okay, uh, you know what? I'll take the mag. 
It sounds like a good idea. Okay, what about her? So she can get agility plus one, dexterity plus one, and reflexes. So what, what do those do? So dexterity. Your character has a better aim and improves. Okay, so she's terrible at that anyway. Agility can move. Okay, that's not good. And what was the last one? Reflexes. What are reflexes? Evade. Um, I mean, this is the highest stat, so I guess it makes sense to just go reflex. Although, you know, it's a very weird choices for a character like her, but whatever. Okay, and I guess now we could actually use it on Jackson. Yeah, to repair 20. Okay, so you got to be careful about the repair kits as well, because the armor do not just replenish. That is kind of awesome. Okay, small troop of German soldiers, uh, search enemy supplies. So if you have a stealthy guy, you can basically just search. I guess let's fight. All right, so we, we need that loose. And uh, the more we fight, I guess, the stronger we'll be in the end. So, one, two, three. Oh, ah, there it is. Now I can see it. three guys. Okay, so the dog is the most annoying one because it moves a lot, right? So, let me think. Um, I mean, I guess it makes sense something like this. So they basically don't know I am here, right? And I can actually attack the dog, so uh, let's just murder the dog. Now, can you... No, you won't reach, right? Is there like an overwatch or something like this? Walk, punch, double shot, low profile. Not really. Okay, so let's shoot this guy in the face. Hey, I actually hit it. <laughs> nice. Well, he's almost dead. Okay, that went way better than I expected. So those two are basically dead. Ah, crap, dog is too close. Oh, come on, I just repaired that armor. And I'm getting flanked. God damn it, no. Okay, that did not go well at all. Oh, <laughs> no. All right, so we gotta, we gotta deal with all of that. Um, right, first of all, uh, let me think. So... I guess I can only attack one, so we're gonna get rid of the... No, I don't I don't need to attack him with a... I can just stab him, right? There we go. And now we got to run the hell away from here. Preferably somewhere where they cannot really easily flank me. I guess somewhere here. Now she's gonna go over here and just double shoot this guy in the face. Uh, 38%. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this game is very much like XCOM. That did not go well at all. Oh no, what? What? You can jump over the walls? Nobody told me that I could do that. Oh shit, no. I mean, okay, this guy is almost dead. Like, ah, uh, no, I have to heal her. Right, let me think for a second. So we gotta get her out of here. Maybe, uh, I mean, how, how far can... Okay, he's not, he's not, doesn't really have that much movement possibility. So we can go over here. Use a med kit on herself, right? Now, this guy is going to shoot him. 50%. Um, 50%. I mean, I guess I could just go here, right? And then here. And then just stab him. Because why would I take my chances? We can have a 100% hit like this. There we go. Way better. All right. Uh, oh, no. He's... Wait, I thought that was his range of walking. I guess I was wrong. Tapped. Oh, okay. Ah, there we go. Yeah, okay. So he can walk quite a lot as well. Now, uh, 50%. That's not good enough for me. I want to be... I mean, I guess I can just go up in front of him and stab him again, right? Because I have this bleed attack that is super powerful. There you go. So this guy is basically half dead. Um, yeah, I guess I'm... Um, do I want to use a medkit? No, let's see what happens actually if I don't use a medkit and if I actually get any health back after the combat completes. Um, unless I just die. He's still alive? Cut. Oh, no, man, that hurts. Okay. Okay, that's not very good. <laughs> that encounter went way worse than I expected. Okay, just, you know what, just just get, get to him and stab him in the face because he's basically dead. There you go. Done. All right, that's 
could have went better, but fine. Let's see what we get as a spoils. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. I was like, we don't get any loot. Right, so we got some fuel. Uh, that's still not very good. We got... Oh, God, no. I don't... It's... That definitely looks like a combat encounter, right? I don't know if I want that. And bags, yes. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> I think that might be it for this run. That could have went a lot better. So we got four... What? Is there like two guys who are dead already? What is happening? Okay. So I'm gonna position them here, but then I, I will have to heal immediately. I guess I'm gonna heal her. Does she have any more med kits? Doesn't seem so, right? Oh boy, okay. She doesn't really reach anyone. So yeah, let's just... Sh no, I can't shoot him in the face. Hmm. Right, so he can reach us, and that dog can reach us too, so we definitely want to trigger them somehow. That's interesting, why doesn't... why can't you hit over there? That's so weird, okay. What if I just... and turn? Will they actually move, or will they just wait for me to do something? No, they actually do move, okay. So I guess they know where I am. Oh shit, that's not good. Wait, so there are two more guys, I just don't see them. Is that the thing? Okay then. Right, burst fire. Uh, that does not cover both of them anyway, so let's just uh, shoot the dog, I guess. Okay, dog is down. I'm still nearly dead, so it's not very good. Uh, she still doesn't reach him. I guess I can go over here and then shoot him, right? There we go. <laughs> she finally hit something. Like one hit and Johnson's gonna go down. Oh, god damn it, they are flanking me. Oh boy, that was way too close. <laughs> All right. I am not sure how I'm still alive. Right, so the problem is, uh, he has 34, so I think I should be able to stab him if I go right in front of him. Let's hope for the crit, because I, I don't know how else I would solve this, basically. 32. Uh, well, nearly dead. Can she finish him off? That's two chances, 38% each. Come on, hit, hit at least one of them. Nope, I'm basically dead. Okay then. Uh, okay, he's dead. And at this point, I'm basic. I mean, two of them are nearly dead, but she's so bad at shooting that I don't. I don't know if, if it's possible to win at all. And this guy is not much better at shooting, but hey, can she? Oh wait, he's still alive. No, he's not. Uh, K.O. Okay, can you revive him? Is that a skill, I guess? Or maybe you need special item for that? Oh boy, okay. Let's try to shoot him. Now she hits. <laughs> Can't bloody damn it. Why does it have to be like this? And she's also dead. No, not yet. Okay, so she still has some HP. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, uh, can I... Here's the question, will I be lucky and survive this, or will I just die next turn? Because I have one shot, right? I do have to position myself better. I guess something like this would work, because then they cannot really flank me that easily. Okay, she hit that guy, so that's a good start. That's a good start as well, so... Right, if this guy misses, we might have a chance. No, he didn't. <laughs> well, that's it for the run. <laughs> God damn it. Yep, five turns and we're all dead. Hosp wait, it said hospitalized. Is that not the end of the run? Okay, yeah. No, okay, so that's it. That, that's the end game, basically. Cool. So how does it so why why did we need the money? What do we do with that? Is there like any pursue any adventure? Yes, let's try this again. I'm really curious. 
So, oh, you cannot play them anymore and you have to spend money to heal them. That is fascinating. So we got a sniper who's weak against Nazis, whatever that means. Got a guy with a shotgun. He's got, what is this? This looks like assault rifle. And he's got a pistol. Uh, you're undead. Yeah, let's try a sniper and a shotgun guy. That sounds like, a, I mean, I guess light armor. Skill tree. Yeah, I guess, you know, if you would play this properly, you would probably learn all their skills first. But again, let us try this again. Oh, you do retain your old stuff. That is interesting. Eh, that is curious. So basically you can... Will, will those guys heal after I fail this time? I wonder if that's how it works. Okay, so we got to be very, very careful. I wonder if we can actually screw up and just make them all sick. Yes, let us begin the adventure. So there's our target. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So we got, I guess it's a shop and there's a question mark there. So let's go there. That sounds like an ninja. So we already know that this is combat encounter and this is the rest place. Um, fe fe blah, blah. Featureless burial chamber. Okay. Oh, we just literally get the reward. Okay, so that's money, that's money, that's petroleum. Okay, sure, I'll take that. Reach the rocky landscape, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yes. Do you want to take a short break or leave immediately? Inspect the water, gamble. Do you want to gamble? Uh, sure, why not? Let's try. Party, current. Okay, so we were lucky, but we don't really have any damage so they didn't do much for us all right so you drive around the next dune you in a fully loaded wehrmacht truck truck makes a u-turn and a frantic attempt to escape yes uh okay so if i had daredevil we could actually chase him but uh, let's take a gamble but after a short while i realized there's no way you'll catch up okay so we'll lose them that is unfortunate but okay that is inter like it's fascinating how many choices you have in those options. Bunker in the distance. Okay, so there's nothing here. So let's go to the shop thing. What this gives us? Villagers welcome you. Uh, trade. Yes, let us trade. So I got. Okay, so you can when you're trading, you can only use the stuff that you picked up in this run, but not the globally available gold. Car fuel, small ammo box. Wait, you have a limited ammo? Oh, sh I, I didn't even notice that. Uh, yes, I definitely want some of this. But I just spent my cash. So I guess this stuff is only converted to cash when you extract or die, I guess. Okay, this, this is very interesting. All right. Temple entrance. Yes, as you approach the entrance, you hear a deep humming sound. Mysterious objects, okay. Enter the building. Dilapidated passage, might collapse. Be on the passageway so we can gamble to proceed? Sure, let's do that. I mean, we are here, right? Uh, and there's space around you. Okay, so it collapsed. And god damn it. <laughs> so I guess my guy is not agile enough or not lucky enough to get through there. Beautiful rock formation. Yeah, that's very helpful. Uh, let's just go down, I guess. Uh, right. What the hell is this? Okay. Humming from it. Yes. Uh, inspect. Sure, let's gamble. Baron Sanders Yeah, You're over to find Baron kneeling on the ground and shoveling the desert sand aside. Oh, we got some treasure. Cool. We got a rifle, that's great. We got quite a lot of cash. Got small ammo box and we got uh, some money. Okay, cool. That's pretty neat. I mean, can't say I don't like that. <laughs> uh, I can see something is wrong with the village ahead. Approach cautiously. Right, German soldiers, uh, sure, attack. Let us fight some German soldiers. Because why not? 
All right. Let's try. So there's four guys again. I can only see two of them. And I don't know if those two are people or dogs. There's likely at least one dog there. We gotta be careful. So this is our sniper guy. So we want him somewhere far, preferably behind the full cover, but I don't really see anything here. I guess I'm gonna put him in the half cover. This is our guy with a shotgun, so he's actually gonna go right in their face, right? Okay, so do we have anywhere with a full cover we can put our sniper guy? What's his range, actually? That is a lot of range. Okay. Um, well, oh, and he has ambush. So he has overwatch. It's a specific skill here. That is interesting. Okay, 70% chance. Uh, what's his damage? 2026. Sure, let's take that. There you go. Cool. Uh, now we take this guy. So where was... The second one was down below, I think, right? Where's the other enemy? Oh, he's all the way up there. There's another one there. And I assume somewhere here because I cannot see them, right? So we got to be careful when approaching him. But I guess like he's definitely going to be able to just shoot him down. So I'm going to go over here and hope there's nobody below. I'm just going to shoot him in the face. There we go. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. All right, that worked out quite nicely. So I'm going to reposition the sniper a bit closer. And I think we're done here. So that's one guy. Two more hiding somewhere. Okay, one below. That's not very good. But he seems to be far enough away for me not to bother too much. This guy is also quite far. All right, so I'm worried there's a guy somewhere here. And I don't want my sniper get hurt in any way. Can I just shoot him from here? 52%. That's not very good. What about this guy? That's out of range. Right. So I yeah, I don't know. Do I want to go down below? I'm also curious. What is this? So there's the half cover. There's the full cover. And what is this brick icon? Uh, types of cover. Partial cover. Yes. Strong cover. In hit, so strong cover is 40% reduction. Partial cover is 20% reduction. And wall is complete protection. So if you're against the wall, they cannot really attack. Ah, I see. Okay. So we do want to be against the wall, essentially, right? So this guy here, I guess. It's not very far moving, but hey. Right, let's shoot this guy in the face. And I missed, okay, I mean, 50% chance, you know, not too bad. Now, I am going to go here. Uh, what is this thing? Shotgun blast. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just end turn. Because I got to wait for some of them to come to me, right? Okay, he's going to attack the sniper. Evade it. Nice. So this... Whoever this guy is, is just sitting there. That's weird. But I, I mean, I'll take that. So we want to position ourselves against that guy. And full cover is always better, so we're just gonna go here. 52%, there we go. Now, this guy's gonna go... So what is his range? Um, one, two, three tiles. So that should be close enough, right? And his range is quite decent, so we're just gonna go up close and shoot him in the face. Done. This combo so far has been working out way better than the previous one, to be honest. It's like you don't really need the healer if nobody dies. Are they just hiding in there? What is happening? Okay, so I'm gonna go down. I guess we just have to... Like, I'm afraid to get my sniper there alone, so I'm just gonna put him, like, all the way back here. There is no cover there. Is there... Are they just literally hiding there? Um, sprint. So what if I put him up there? That was a bad move in the first place, but okay, we can spend some some stuff. Why is he why did he lost health? He evaded the damage, right? Can I see them from here? No, I cannot. This is the weirdest. Okay, you know what? Let's just wait for them to come out. Hey oh, there you go. He started moving. So you can put a sniper here. You need a bigger magazine. So I need to reload actually. And that's it with my action points. 
boy, I'm afraid they're gonna flank me, but I also need to go and see here, right? Uh, no, they're not moving at all. No, it's not what I wanted to do. No, undo. Can I undo this? No. I screwed up royally. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna reload. That's fine. That's fine. So you're gonna go over here. Um, do I want to do Overwatch or no? You know what? I'm fine without Overwatch. Those guys literally just sitting there. What is happening? I guess I'm just gonna go and see what's going on there. So, can I move the sniper somewhere? This is a wall as well. Okay, cool. Ah, there we go. There is a Nazi trooper. Okay. Nice. Okay, cool. So, he's half health. Mm, I guess he's gonna advance, so this guy is... Ah, God damn it! I took him too far. But I'm behind the wall, so they should be fine. Why are they still moving behind there? What is, what is happening? Are they gonna attack me or not? Okay, he's trying to flank. So, let's take our sniper and take him out. There you go. This one's down. So, here's the question. Is there second guy over here well i think at least i cannot see him like what this is the weirdest uh right so where is he like inside there is he stuck or something okay if i go here and i see him no what is going on here ambush but uh okay yeah but i cannot see that way so i guess we're gonna move here and set up an ambush like this in case he comes out hello oh nice <laughs> actually worked oh oh god okay i thought he would shoot him cool so we can actually just come into his face and be like hey i have a shotgun you're dead nice reload the guns and turn I mean, that encounter went way better than the previous one. And I think our guy is only just a tiny bit hurt. So we got some rewards from the village. What is this? Hammer and pliers. Uh, smooth out and so 35 repair. Okay, and we got some fuel. Okay. Soldiers destroyed our well. Help us or livestock will die repair. Uh, okay, so if you have engineer, you can help them even more. Okay. That is fascinating. Like, this is really, really cool. Digging this a lot so far. Desert camp ahead of you is stacked with crates and containers. Yes, okay, sure. Attack, sneak up to the fuel dump. Uh, you know what? I don't want to fight them. Let's just continue. I want to see more interesting encounters because we've already seen a decent amount of fight. I'm also interested what is at the end, right? Uh, attack with Drono. Let's continue. So we will have to fight anyway over here. Uh, the, the shady attack snake. Surprise attack. Yes, let's do a surprise attack. That sounds like a good idea. Just stab the snake. <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, hey, Leonid. Welcome to the stream. How's it going, man? Okay. German army crates. Ooh, nice, we found some stuff. So what do we get? Some money and some fuel. So nothing nothing really of interest. Okay, so let's go do another fight. Then I think we should be able to reach the destination this time around. At least not die a terrible death, but there you go. Okay, uh, German unit. Yes, yes, yes. So is it always four soldiers or can there be the difference? Object-oriented programming is pain. Uh, yeah, it is, kind of is. That's why I don't like object-oriented programming that much. <laughs> Oh, what the f... No, man. Come on. That's not, not very good. Okay, one, two... Um, there's one guy, there's a second guy, and there's a third one, I assume, somewhere here, because we cannot see him, right? So, full cover. This guy is a shotgunner, so we're gonna put him up close. I guess I'm gonna rush this one first. Let's see, I can go... So, first of all... I should be able, so if I go here, I should be able to shoot him, right? 
There we go. And then I take my shotgunner, go right into his face and just shoot him. Like this. Goodbye. Cool. Okay, so we dealt with one of them. Two more left. Uh, they are, I think they are far enough away for me to be able to actually do something like without getting hit too much. Because this guy is going to try to flank me. He's going to shoot at me. Cool. Evade it. Nice. Uh, it would be very nice if I would take no damage, but I assume that is... The sniper guy is just nailing it. Like, he would need a bit better... Um, a bit better sniper rifle and he would be just murdering them in one shot. That is quite nice. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm afraid that this guy is gonna try to flank the sniper here, but I guess that's fine. So we can just go in front of this guy and just shoot him in the face. What? No, I said shoot him in the face. Goodbye. Right, I am gonna reposition the sniper over here and just end turn. But where is the last boy? Ah, there he is. Okay, so he's gonna go for our shotgunner. Oh, god damn it. Okay, we got a repair kit, so we're fine. Right, so shoot him. 52%. Missed. Okay, that's, I mean, not very good, but not terrible. So, I am, I can do 34 damage. That is 40. Shotgun blast, 2 ammo. Okay, so it is basically area of effect. I don't really need that. What is my knife? 2735. Uh, do I want to bleed him? Like, I don't know if I want to try my luck, basically. I am at full cover, so maybe it's worth it. You know what? Let's just try it. Um, so I cannot, I cannot reach him, but I can just shoot him in the face. <laughs> that always works quite nicely, so just... One more shot and he's dead. I guess we will have to eat a bit of damage anyway. Ah, come on, stop flanking me. Oh, he has a shotgun as well. God damn it, that, that hurt. Okay, uh, I have to reload actually. That is not good. Uh, and he has to reload as well. If I don't move, I think I should be able to shoot him, right? 72%. There we go. Nearly there. But, oh, right. I, I mean, I don't have to reload. I can just stab him. There we go. Die. Cool. So, reload the weapons. I do need to heal up because my shotgunner is quite hurt and he also needs some armor repair. Right, so what do we get? We get a new gun. Uh, that is... is that, a, that is an assault rifle, right? It's, sometimes it's a bit hard to say is it a assault rifle or a sniper rifle. They're like written somewhere. Amazingly light caliber, blah blah blah. No. Standard, standard, don't really see anything. Okay, but whatever. And we got our medium ammo box. Right, so we need to heal. Um, how do I heal you? So first of all, this guy. So 26, yeah, I guess we're just gonna use the repair kit on him, right? And we also need to heal him a bit. There we go. I think we're good. So, yeah. We should be fine. So let's let's continue. You are started looking for a job as a junior PHP developer. Well, man, you know, good luck to you. I know it can be tough to find the first job, especially if you are a junior. So yeah, all the best. Right, we did not find anything. So let, okay, we're almost at the goal thing, whatever that is. And I imagine we're gonna have another fight. Right. Uh. Guttural bleating? Okay, yeah, sure. Nothing there. Alright, let's see what is this target all about and if we can actually survive that. This run was way more successful than the previous one when we died like 10 minutes into it. Right, fortified base. Okay, yeah. Hide behind the rocks. Alright, Germans camp appearing board uniforms. Uh-huh. So we sneak into the camp using German uniforms. Right, okay, yes. Convex is the camp, heads into a desert. Okay, sure. Convoy stops. All right, so we've, I guess we will unlock the new character. Is that how it is? I got a guy with a shotgun, so I don't care if I'm discovered. I can just shoot them in the face. All right, I still have to position my guys. Okay, so, whoa, six. And two of them are dogs, at least two of them. God damn it. That's, and this one is medic. Oh, boy. 
Okay, that's not very good at all. And we have to do this to save our guy. So this is our sniper. I'm not sure it was a good idea to take a sniper with a debuff weak against Nazis into the map full of Nazis, but uh, sure. So we got to get rid of the dogs. I guess I'm going to put the sniper over here and put a shotgunner over here and try to get rid of those dogs first. So... I don't know, that is 23 and my rifle is... Two. I mean, I guess we could get lucky and just one-shoot him. Nice, we, we got lucky, cool. That went well. Um, yes, and I want to position behind the cover. Now, yeah, that should kill the dog. There we go. Two problems less, so four more left. I hope none of them are dogs. Dogs are a bit annoying. So there's one guy, two guys... Okay, this guy is not very good. And uh, yeah, so all of them are humans. That is good. We got to get rid of the medic because he is definitely going to heal everyone. Right, so let's first get rid of this guy. 15 and then I'm going to go right in front of your face and stab you with my knife because why would I spend bullets on you? There we go. Right, I can't really do anything. I guess I'll just reload because it's always good to keep the ammo count high, right? Because it's just three bullets and then you're done. Okay. Is that guy again stuck where he had it on one mission where he would just wouldn't leave his position and was just like walking back and forth? Ah, god damn it, my armor. Okay, let's see. So... It's, yeah, so the medic is more tanky, so let's go for him. Nice. Now, I think I had a skill that said Shotgun Blast. So I need to be... Whoa, I need to be quite far away from them. Um, right, how do I do that? If I go here, would that actually work? I don't know. Good boy. So if I... Yeah, so if I go like diagonally, right? So it should work, I guess, from here? If I, if I position myself... I cannot position myself there. Oh God, is that a pixelated Jagged Alliance? No, it's closer to, I, I mean, it's like, I guess it kind of counts like Jagged Alliance, but not really. It's more of an FTL mixed with Indiana Jones setting mixed with XCOM, I would say. I mean, kind of, I mean, no, not really Jagged Alliance. Doesn't, doesn't come close to that. Okay, so let's do the shotgun blast. And I think, yeah, there we go. That went quite well. Okay, my guy is kind of exposed right now, but those two are almost dead. So I think I should I should be able to eat at least one of those bullets. Ah, god damn it! Okay. So I guess he's gonna try to heal, right? Twenty-five HP. God damn it, he can heal. All right. So let's see. Fifty-two, fifty-two. So it doesn't. I mean, I guess it does matter because twenty. Yeah. So let's do this. And this guy, I cannot do any more shotgun blasts because I don't have any more of whatever the currency is. Ah, <sighs> okay, you know what? I guess I could just go and stab him. I mean, I don't have any other option because I'm out of bullets. So this guy is dead basically, right? And you just reload. I hope he won't kill my other guy. I think he should be able to, like, even if he does hit him, he should... Come on, stop healing! <laughs> I get that you're a medic, but stop with this bullshit. Alright, uh, we can flank him, I guess. We have to position right side anyway, right? So, shoot him in the face. There you go. And now... So I gotta reload. And then I gotta run in front of him. That won't actually give me anything, I think. I cannot, I won't be able to shoot him anyway, right? Yep. But we're doing good so far. I think we should be able to win this encounter. So there's this, the other guy, he's <laughs> just gonna run around and heal? Is that what, is that a thing? Okay, uh, can I shoot him again? Yes, I can, and I will. Okay, now I should be able to shoot him with a shotgun. And theoretically, he should be done, basically. There we go. Okay, medic is done. The annoying part is basically over. 
Uh, okay, cool. So now we just have to kill the last guy over there, whatever the hell he's doing. Oh, he's finally decided to go somewhere else. Cool. Right, how do I position myself? So I guess I cannot go outside the wall, right? No, I can. And that is a brick wall, so I cannot shoot through it as long as I am outside, I guess, until I reach those barrels. Alright, so how do we do this? I'm guessing he's gonna be coming out of here or there, so I would wanna... I can't actually shoot there, so I, I guess I would wanna position myself somewhere here and reload and just keep the sniper here in case he shows from this side. And I'm gonna take my shotgunner and go and try to shoot him in the face. That sounds like a good plan. He stopped moving. Right, um... I don't want to go into a narrow passageway without having a way to escape anywhere, so I guess I'm just gonna go here first. I don't really have any healing items either, which is not very good. Um, yes, put the sniper here. Hello, enemy. You're gonna finally advance on me? So let me just put an amb- um, oh, come on, really? You cannot put an ambush towards that way, but you can shoot that way, right? Yeah, okay. Right, so he's just gonna wait here. Did I just enter? Yes, I did. God damn it. All right, let's try this again. Do I have to? No, I, I just have to kill them, right? I don't have to go to talk to this guy. Right, so let's try to rush him, I guess, and hope I won't die a terrible death. I still don't see him, okay. Where is he? What is going on right now? I'm just gonna end turn. He's not going anywhere, he's just sitting somewhere. Alright, I mean, sure. Move here. Oh, I found him. That's a terrible position to be in, but okay. He is just 34 HP, so in I think if I just come in front of him and stab him with my knife, he should be dead basically. I don't yeah, let's let's just bleed him. There you go. Alright. That went quite well. Somehow I'm still alive. Um, I think I finally got how kinda got how this game works. Alright, adventure two, new adventure locked. Nice. Uh, when the gun's finally silent, smoke dissipates, Morton stumbles towards you. Alright, so we found Morton. Okay, yeah, so he tells us about Casablanca. And we got a ton of things. So we got a blue pistol, we got a splendid combat vest, we got some money, we got grenades. And we got some more money, basically. I wonder, is that like limited storage essentially, so you cannot carry more with you? Chattering excitedly, you stroll back to your jeep. You get in and drive into the setting sun while Morton entertains you with his absurd anecdotes. All right. Okay, well, I mean, we, we finished it. We got 400 bucks. And here's the question. Did the guys who were dead in the first adventure, or not dead, but in the hospital or whatever we'd said, are they actually alive now? Yes, they are. Okay, so they are out of order for one run. And I still did not unlock anyone. I wonder how do you do that? Oh, there you go. It literally says what you need to do to unlock them. Kill 100 Nazis. Kill 50 zombies. Kill... Bleed kill 5 enemies. Kill 10 enemies with an ambush to unlock. Okay. Uh, find a disintegrator. What? Wait, what? That is like... I mean... I've been digging this quite a bit so far, so if you enjoy uh, stuff like FTL and XCOM, this is definitely a game to keep an eye on. And I think it added... No, this is the last one, yeah, okay. I imagine I'm gonna be taking quite some time to actually get through those adventures, because it took me two tries to just get through the first one without exploring much. This has been pretty cool. Yeah, if you do like games like this, do check out Pathway. It's pretty damn good. I think that will be it for me for today. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream and I see you next time. Bye.